2003 Mercedes SL500. This is the 5 litre V8 model. Not the more common uh, 350, which was the 3.7 or 3.5, depending on what year, V6. So this is the big one. As you can see, it's finished in silver, lovely metallic silver. So obviously a very common colour for these SLs, but quite often you'll find they're a bit of a patchwork quilt of different panels, different colours. But as you can see, if we just quickly skim around this, all one colour, bumper matches the boot, boot matches the wing, wing matches the door. Really, really good. It's on the larger five-spoke alloys. Four matching Pirelli P0s on. It's always a good sign of good ownership. Best side for me with this car is A, the boot's full of cleaning equipment, which you can tell by how clean the car is, and B, it's got a full tank of fuel or three quarters tank of fuel. That's gonna be worth about a grand today. Right, let's start with the bodywork. Looking down this driver's side, you can see it's leveling straight all the way down there. Front wing, we've got a couple little stone chips on the top here. This arch, lovely and solid. There's no sign of any corrosion or anything, especially in the bottom where quite often that comes through. Nice and clean on the wheel. Pirelli P0 on that one. We'll check them all as we go around. Coming down this side, nice and clean on the wing mirror. No sign of any marks or anything on the door. And again, another problem area would be down here and onto the arch, but as you can see, that's lovely and clean all the way around. Another good wheel with a P0 on that as well. A look at the roof while we're up here. Again, it's quite common you get stone chips and things along the front there. But on this one, that's lovely and clean. Same with the lip on the top of the roof, nothing there at all. And you can have another look back up from here. Lovely and straight all the way up there. Coming around onto the back, both tail lights. Nice and bright, no sign of any moisture or anything like that. We've got parking sensors front and rear on this one. Exhaust sit nice and level as well. No sign of any marks there. Top of the boot lid, that's all nice and straight. The owner did tell me that it's had sides painted, but actually, whoever's done it has done a lovely job. Colour match is perfect. Done a nice job of it, really, really good. Bumper meets up all nice and even. Lovely solid arch there again. Another good wheel with a P P0 tyre. Have another look at the roof from here. Does make for quite a boring video, We've got, but it does make for a very, very good car. We've got a couple of very faint scratches just down here. One there, and one which actually runs the full length of the door and down on this rear quarter. Very, very faint, you can just see it there. Follow it all the way up. It's like it's been, it comes all the way up on the front wing to the arch. It's like it's been driven past a, a bit close to a hedge or something like that. Hasn't dented it, nothing like that. Just to scrape down those three panels. May polish out. You can't actually feel it when you run your finger over it. You can only just see it, but it is worth pointing it out. Other than that, nice and tidy on this side. Front arch, lovely and clean again. And that's your final tidy wheel with a Pirelli P0. So we've got four P0s all around. Another stone chip here. And a little one just there. Headlights arguably could do with a little bit of a polish, but they're pretty good generally. And you've got a couple of little marks on the front. In fact, that's from another car getting started in front of it. Ignore that. A couple of little stone chips. You've got one or two just here and there, but nothing major. Lower half of that bumper, all nice and clean. It's not been rammed up any curves or anything like that. We've got a very fine hairline crack in the grill there. It's been like the bonnet's been shot on something. You can see it sort of... When it's in place, you barely notice it. It's all nice and secure, but it is worth pointing that out. Bonnet itself, lovely and straight. Again, a couple of little stone chips, but nothing major. No ripples or dents. So overall, very nice and tidy. I mean, it's a 20 year old car now. Really fresh looking car. On the interior, and instead of the light gray, it's got the dark gray and the black. Driver's seat. That's lovely and tidy. You've got a little bit of a tiny little bit of wear on the bolster there. But the rest of it's all good, nice and firm. It's got the uh, the cream over mat. The carpet sets lovely and clean underneath. Obviously, spec wise, exactly what you expect from a big Merc. So auto lights, dual zone aircon. This one has the ABC, so the um, air suspension, which we'll show you in a second. That's all working nicely. It's got the larger stereo, front and rear parking sensors, all that kind of stuff. 66,800 miles on this one. It's a nice low mileage. Well, uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have, have show you in the booth. 
and then we'll fire it up we'll get the roof down we're gonna have a proper look at the uh the interior so boot wise the rams are a little bit soft it will hold itself if you get it right um boot separator all intact and then here we've got a ton of ton of cleaning gear but the carpet set and everything all nice and tidy exactly as you'd expect that goes into place nice and easy obviously you've got to make sure that's down to get the roof down and the soft clothes on the boot works as well right we'll get it started up this one was driven to us like i say it's the uh, the five liter v8 nice and happy only warning light on there is for the seat belt if we hit that this button here tilt it back you'll see the uh, the rear lid open up roof will retract and go down and that'll close up and then it'll put the windows back to where they should be and that's all nice and happy so <clears throat> while that's open can have a good look around the debt lid area which is all nice and clean it does have the correct factory wind diffuser which does make a huge difference you've also got the button so you can uh, raise the rollover bar as well if you want to have that lifted up like that if that's what you want to do just got the buttons under the uh, hood mechanism there and then in the back obviously two seats so no rear seats but we do have this uh electric tilt and slide we've got a map in there for anyone that gets a bit lost all your cubby holders holes and everything are all nice and intact all nice and clean no sign of any real use there tap that button that'll put that back pull the bonnet while we're here as well again one of the nice tricks with these sls when the roof's down if you want to get in the boot lift the roof up with the button and then you've got full access to your boot as long as you put that boot separator back hit the button again it'll return put the roof down it's nice you can get your shopping in without having to put the roof up passenger side that's all nice and clean as well no real sign of anywhere a bit of paper there we'll get rid of that no sign of anywhere at all on the bolsters they're all lovely and firm all nice and clean it does have the uh, the larger media unit um, which we mentioned earlier on so it's got telephone nav tv all that sort of stuff not that you're ever really going to use the tv in that it's a bit weird but it's there if you want it right under the bonnet all nice and clean under here parking sensors are picking my legs up that's no good all nice and tidy it is missing the little cover from the top of the battery um but again not a big deal particularly should be able to get an easy enough one on from ebay all nice and clean in there like i say it was driven to us no sign of any fluid dropping on the floor the uh the abc system i believe has had just hasn't worked done to it um but we'll pop this window down you have to have the door shut and we'll uh we'll select suspension up you can see that lifts up nice and quickly and then if we hit that button again it'll drop itself down nice and quickly again back to road height always a good sign because those things can get expensive if they're faulty but this one looks to be all good so there you have it 2003 mercedes sl 500 any questions please get in touch thank you